What's up, Rich Squad? First of all, guys, I would like to introduce you to the beautiful island of Beckway, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This is actually part of the Grenadines and not the mainland of St. Vincent. So I'm just here enjoying a nice day in the sun and nice small island, you know, um, came to the beach and stuff. But guys, what I want to talk about right now is the 2026 World Cup bid the battle between the united bid of the united states of america canada and mexico versus the bid from morocco this is the fifth time morocco is actually bidding to host a world cup and they have had four unsuccessful bids so far will it be the fifth unsuccessful bid by the nation of morocco I'm kind of having a feeling that Morocco is going to come up short again, to be honest, because this would be the first 48 team World Cup ever being hosted and it would be a huge task for Morocco as one nation to do it. To be honest, I actually wanted to go back to the African continent and for Morocco to host it. It would be really good in a cultural perspective and for at least Africa to host another World Cup. They have only hosted one in almost 100 years so come on the nation of morocco deserves it because they of course they have been trying for quite a long time and you know they say keep trying don't give up one day you will succeed but in morocco's um you know case it seems like it's always a lost cause for them you know they keep copying l's on the world cup bids but um the thing is with the usa mexico canada bid they are actually promising FIFA a really, really, really substantial amount of profit. You know, it's like it, it might be the biggest ever profit rolled over from a World Cup. And Morocco isn't promising that, you know. So, and the other thing is with the USA, they already have ready facilities and Mexico, Canada, you know, they, are, they already have facilities ready to host the World Cup maybe they need to do a few upgrades and it wouldn't cost too much to upgrade these facilities and get them ready for the 48 team World Cup but for Morocco they have to put in way more money to actually build up stadiums and everything and get their infrastructure in place in order to host a 48 48 teams is a lot it's quite a lot it's not like the 32 team World Cup it's 16 additional teams that means more matches right now i can't really think about them um the matches off the top of my head because um I'm, I'm, I'm on vacation give me a break guys but um i know the 32 team world cup is 64 matches you guys want to see the water but anyways the 34 the 32 team world cup is 64 matches i said 34 for a second i'm losing my mind but um the 48 team World Cup will be way more and it will be a more difficult tournament for Morocco to host. So right about now, I think the USA, Canada, Mexico, the United bid for 2026, they might win it. To be honest, they might win it. I want Morocco to win, but it seems like the United bid might come out, um, you know, winners in that. You know, FIFA, they love money. If you promise them money, you promise to deliver come on you're gonna get the vote you're gonna get the votes and you're gonna win the bid so i'm gonna predict that the usa canada mexico bid actually wins it for 2026 we will actually know on the 13th of june right now it's the 9th of june so i want to hear your guy you guys um excuse me i want to hear you guys opinion on this matter whether morocco or the joint triple bid between United States of America, Canada, and Mexico will come out winners of the bid. So um, again, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button as well, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, Morocco or the United bid for the 2026 first ever 48 team World Cup being held. Who will host it? Let me know your thoughts down below. So, until next time, peace out from the island of Beckway. Rich Spot!